what is going on guys my name is paris aka gold sniper 9 and today i'm back with a brand new assassin's creed valhalla video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get the hidden ones armor hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and without further ado make sure you guys do enter the giveaway that i am doing the link to that will be down in the description below but with that said let's get straight into today's video so we are going to be getting the hidden ones armor so the first piece is going to be all the way at the tippity top of the map it's not all the way at the top but it's near the top now one of the things that i do like about this armor is that it does increase the assassination damage when you are crouched for at least 10 seconds or more so what you want to do is make your way over to this location here and when you guys do get here there is clearly going to be this little wooden floor here just break the wooden floor then jump down here when you guys do get down here you guys are going to be in some water so you guys do have to travel underwater for this one so make your way underwater and just simply follow the path so eventually once you do make your way through this crack in the wall what you want to do is to immediately go to your right hop on this wall over here and then make your way over to the other side and then jump on this little hanging little platform here and then when you guys do get over here you will see that you guys should be able to move this little barricade now eventually you guys will come across a room where there is going to be this nice lovely chest here. I do recommend looting it. You guys will get the rewards that you guys did just see me get. Then there's going to be this door here. When you guys do see this door, you guys just want to simply either... I think you can throw your... Can you throw that? No. Okay. So completely scratch that. You guys don't even need to go to that door. The key is going to be all the way up here. I saw that at the last minute. So just climb up here and then simply retrieve the key. Once we do retrieve the key, just jump right back down, and we should be able to unlock this door here. And let's see what's in there, our nice lovely golden chest. Oh nice, we got the hidden ones robes. I know some people don't like the golden green that is on the outfit, but personally, I do think this outfit does look amazing, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. So the next piece in today's video I'm going to be showing you is located over here in Leta Chester. So it is going to be a level 20 power region. So you guys don't have too much to worry about as long as you guys are over level 20 power level. Now when you guys first do get here you guys will see that there is going to be a symbol facing this way. And it is pointing you towards these nice lovely bag of rocks. So shoot these bag of rocks down. Proceed on over to see where they fell down at. From here, just jump all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you guys do use your torch because 9 out of 10 for these hidden bureaus, they are going to be really dark and you guys are going to be needing your torch. So eventually after sliding through a few holes, you guys will see that there is going to be this nice lovely gold chest here. So make your way over to it, simply loot the chest, and then there you guys go. You guys will get the hidden ones gloves. Make sure you guys do get the codec page that is going to be down here. So at this point in the video, you guys should have at least two points of the Hidden Ones gloves and then it should activate a nice little perk for you guys that will increase assassination damage when you guys are crouched for at least 10 seconds. Now the next piece we are going to be getting is the boots for the Hidden Ones armor piece. It is going to be located right over here. I will have it up on screen. Unfortunately, this is going to be a level 222 area, but you guys should be fine. Just ignore the enemies and you guys should be okay. Now when you guys do get here, as always, with all these bureaus, there will be a nice little assassin symbol pointing you in the direction you guys will have to go. Now for this one, it's going to be pretty simple. All you guys have to do is just make your way right down here into this little cave area. Make sure you guys do use Odin's eye if it does get too dark in here for you guys, or if you guys do want to, just use your nice lovely torch. Now as soon as you guys do walk in, there is going to be this little area right here that you guys do have to slide through. Slide right on under it, proceed around the corner. And then you guys will see this little gas area. Now you guys can either try and boss this and just simply run through it, which I do recommend you guys do. But, I mean, you know, don't have your torch out like I do. But, I mean, it is what it is. Then proceed on through this little broken patch in the ground. Jump right on down through here. When you guys are down through here, just keep using your Odin's eye. Now eventually when you are making your way through the poison, there are going to be those little jars right here. I do recommend you guys do pick up one of these jars, unless you guys do have explosive arrows on your bow and arrow. If you do have one of those, then that's perfectly fine. But when you guys do make your way through that last little batch of poison, there is going to be this little wall right here. Place the jar of poison right next to it, or if you guys do want to, just throw it right at it. And there you guys go. And then you guys can see it from here. There is that nice lovely chest. We're just going to go through it because this chest means everything. 
and there we go we got the nice lovely boots to our hidden ones armor let's uh equip those real quick for some reason this is the only piece we've gotten that is flawless all the other pieces have been at a superior but i'm not sure why that is that's interesting so for the next piece we are going to be locating in today's video is going to be over here in London. So you guys are going to have to get pretty high up for this one. You guys have to go all the way up to that tree that you guys do see in the distance. And when you guys do get up here on the tree, you guys have to just perform a nice lovely leap of faith down into the bureau that is going to be down here. So when you guys do get down here, what you want to do is just dive into the water here. And then over in the corner, there is going to be this little wooden wall here that you guys are going to have to break. So when you guys do break either the top part or the bottom part, whatever part you guys do decide to break, just swim along the path. Now, this took me forever to kind of figure out that it was here. So once you guys do get out of the water, what you want to do is make your way up to this little platform here. And then eventually just jump onto the rope here. You guys have to do a little parkour. And then you guys will come across this wall here. You guys will have to either break it with an oil jar if there is one nearby or just use the upgrade that I did just use. I do recommend you guys use that. Oh wow, there are oil jars here. So I imagine what you guys probably had to do is shoot it from this window here and then blow it up there. But eventually you guys will make your way over to this golden chest and you guys will be rewarded the mask. Also, there is going to be a codec page in here. So make sure you guys do collect the codec pages as well. So for the final cloak piece, it is going to be over here in excess. So I do believe this is going to be not too far from Scent and the East Anglia locations. So there is going to be a fast travel point here if you guys do need to fast travel here. When you guys do make your way over here, there is going to be this little patch in the ground that you guys are going to have to shoot. And when you guys do get to this location, all you guys have to do is figure out the little puzzle that is going to be there waiting for you. And once you guys do figure out the little puzzle, you guys will come across the golden chest that will acquire you guys the nice lovely hidden ones cloak. And once you guys do get the cloak, you guys should have the full set. I will also have time cards down in the description below. So if you guys are looking for like maybe even the gloves or any of the other pieces, you guys should be able to check those out in the timestamps down in the description below. Now honestly this armor does look the same just I mean the gold is just a lot more apparent personally if you do ask me honest I like it I personally do love the gold and green I think that just goes together person really well I just think that goes together really well if you do ask me I like how it does have one shoulder blade I think it would be really interesting if you could you know have two but what I'm most excited for is definitely going to be the legacy outfits where they do add Altair's outfit and Exio's outfit so let's see what the stats look like on this outfit. Now the first perk that it does give you, it does give you an increase when it does come down to assassination damage when you are crouched for at least 10 seconds. The other perk is going to give you an additional damage when it does come down to headshots. Now I do recommend you guys do use this when you guys do have Scatty's Wraith as well because this is one of my favorite bows in the game. But with that said, make sure you guys do join the giveaway that I am hosting for all of December. So make sure you guys are seeing this video inside of December. But let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are going to be getting this armor. I know it is kind of complicated to get. There are kind of a lot of puzzles, but it is worth the effort at the end of the day so let me know down in the comment section below if you are going to be getting this armor but hopefully you did enjoy today's video i'm out guys peace